a classic vanilla bean pastry cream. I start with a cup of milk that I bring to a simmer on medium heat. You can use whole milk, 2% or even 1%, but I don't recommend using skim for a pastry cream. You want that richness cooked in there. Also, when it comes to deciding what type of pot to use for your pastry cream, you want to pick a heavy bottom pot so the pastry cream cooks evenly. It's important and recommended to cook using a stainless steel pot. If you cook in an aluminum pot and whisk the pastry cream, there's actually a transfer of color and your pastry cream can turn gray. That's not what you want. I'll add about a teaspoon and a half of vanilla bean paste. I do like to use the paste or a bean, especially when you're going to see it, as we are in these strawberry cream tarts. For the eggs, three eggs, but just the yolks. The whites I'll actually save for the souffle I'll be making later on. I'm going to grab a little bit of butter, two tablespoons that I'm gonna put in this bowl that I have ready to strain the pastry cream into. A pastry cream is thickened by egg yolks and cornstarch. I'll add two tablespoons to the yolks. And I see that the milk is just coming up to a simmer, so now I can add the sugar, three tablespoons. Add your sugar right before you're about to add your milk. If sugar sits in contact with raw egg yolks, it actually develops a bit of a skin, and then you just have a few more lumps in your pastry cream. I whisk everything together, and the next step is called tempering. Tempering is that gradual addition of hot milk to cool eggs and cornstarch, just to even up the temperature so that the pastry cream stays smooth and silky. The entire mixture goes back into the pot, and then on medium heat again, you wanna whisk this constantly until it thickens up. There we go. So it's important to push it through a strainer. You can use your spatula or use your whisk. And just stir it in to melt the butter. And the final step, as the pastry cream cools, to put plastic wrap directly on the surface of the custard. No putting skin here. So the plastic prevents that altogether. I'll chill it down completely. It takes about an hour, maybe two. So the pastry cream has chilled completely. It's always a good idea to give the pastry cream a little stir before you fill or use it. Using a pastry bag is the easiest way to fill the little tarts in the most tidy manner. Before I start filling, I like to pop the tart shells out of their tin and then just fill it right to the top like so. And now that the pastry cream is fully chilled, you won't get a pudding skin, so these don't have to be covered at this point, except with your garnish, of course. In this case, nice strawberry half. But a vanilla bean pastry cream suits any berry topping. It is simple, and it's also quite elegant.